Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today we are heading up to the city of Toronto. That's right, as we're taking a look at those Maple Leafs as there's a little bit of controversy up there right now. Now obviously the whole Austin Matthews and William Na Nylander contract situation is coming up here over the next two years, but they've got a situation right now with a player that they kind of took a chance on and shout out to... Um, to general manager Kyle Dubas on finding a kind of diamond in the rough in Michael Bunting. So the context is Michael Bunting, who grew up in Arizona, he was his hometown was Arizona, and he ended up playing for his hometown team, the Arizona Coyotes, for many years. Ended up not signing with the Coyotes and ended up going to t the city of Toronto, where there was a lot of opportunity, but it wasn't going to be handed to him. You know, he really had to work for it, but... Now he has earned the right to potentially get paid this coming season. He's due for a new contract this summer. And there's a lot of debate as to whether the Maple Leafs should keep him, trade him, or let him go potentially for free this summer. So Michael Bunting's current contract is $1.15 million. Now his current cap hit is $950,000. But again, with signing bonuses attached, it's a little bit over a million dollars. Um, obviously the connection is there with Kyle Dubas, as we've seen with many players from Sue St. Marie from the Greyhounds, a former organization he was with and Matt Murray and Michael Bunting. Um, you know, this is a guy, oh, he's from Scarborough, Ontario. So he is from Toronto. Okay. Now, forget that whole conversation about him being from Arizona. He's from Toronto. That's where he's from. Um, I'm sure you guys will let me know down below. But he was drafted by the Coyotes in 2014. And this is a guy that took a while to develop. You know, he is a little bit on the older side. He's already 27 years old. And by the time this new contract kicks in, going into the season next year, he'll be 28 years old in the beginning of next season. So, Michael Bunting is a guy that the, the Leafs took a chance on. And there is that idea out there that would he be the same player that he is today if he wasn't on the Leafs. And there is reason to believe, yes, that's partially on the table. But again, you still have to produce at the NHL level, and he's done that. He's got 14 points and 33, uh, 33 points and 14 goals this season in 44 games with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, his career numbers, 151 games played. He's got 110 points, which is, again, it's not a point per game, but... I mean, that's pretty damn close to a point per game. That's that's pretty impressive. And this is a guy that over his career is really, you know, he's a he's really had to work his way up. And I think that the Coyotes, he never really got a fair shake with the Coyotes. But, again, what could his next contract look like? Because the Leafs don't have a ton of money just laying around. And, again, when you look at the fact that they have to re-sign Matthews and Nylander, it's going to be even more difficult. Now, will he take a discount? That is the first question, you know, because, again, that's kind of going back to the idea of he's from Scarborough, Ontario. He played in Sault Ste. Marie. He's played in Ontario for a very long time. And, you know, he kind of got his opportunity with the Leafs. So is there going to be that kind of assumption that, listen, this is a team that took a chance on me. They gave me this opportunity. I'll kind of repay them with a discounted contract. Yes, I'm getting a pay raise, but at a discount. Or is he going to go for the bag and maybe go for that extra million, million and a half per year? So $3 million per season, more likely $4 million per season is the contract we expect. Whether that ends up being between three and a half and four and a half million dollars per season is still to be determined. But, you know, teams could give him as much as five million dollars per year on the open market. I do think teams would be willing to do that. You know, you look at what he's done. This is a guy that in Toronto has really produced, and teams will look at him as a top six scoring winger, which is very much in high demand around the National Hockey League. Teams will be willing to pony that up. You know, you look at even Calgary a couple years ago, what they brought in Blake Coleman for, a guy that was traditionally a third-line guy, goes to Calgary for a pretty big contract. Yanni Gord, kind of the same situation when he left Tampa to go to Seattle. You know, he was a third-line guy. 
that ends up going and playing in the top six, even the first line that first season last year for Seattle. So it doesn't always work, but it can work in the right scenarios. And I think that we've seen that a lot around the league that teams are willing to try and, you know, make a guy that's a second or third line player into a a third line guy into a second line guy or a second line guy into a first line guy. But again, that's still a gamble. That doesn't always work necessarily. And that's kind of what you'd be almost worried about if it's a Michael Bunting here, where where he's such a good fit in Toronto. Is he going to be that same fit somewhere else with other players and different line mates and maybe further up in the lineup and maybe a, a bigger role and a more prominent role on the team's roster? Um, you know, and like I said, teams, I think, would be willing to give him $5 million per year on the market. But again, is that maybe a three-year deal, a four-year deal on a non-playoff team? Is that something that Michael Bunting is willing to prioritize? Is he more worried about the money or is he more worried about the location and maybe the potential of winning a Stanley Cup in Toronto? Again, those are the factors you have to look at. And at the end of the day, you know, I think the idea of trading him is just out of the cards. I think the Leafs, really for all their players, including Nylander and, um, and Matthews at this point, I don't think they're willing to trade either of those guys. I think that it's the point where it's cup or bust with all of their players. It's it, they're not willing to sack. They're not even willing to trade those guys ahead of the trade deadline, even if they know they're not going to resign for nothing in the summer. They'd rather get that one more playoff run with them and load at the deadline and add as much as they can than sell off those guys before the deadline. I just think that's how Kyle Dubas is just kind of asserted himself with this team and he's kind of going to live and die by this group and I think that's kind of what we're seeing here and Michael Bunting could end up in, at the end of the day become a, a casualty of this team same thing with Hyman same thing with some of these other guys that they've had to let go over the years that's kind of how things work right and Ilya Mikheyev most recently last year um, at the end of the day I think if they can find a way to sign him to a five-year, $20 million contract. That's right, $4 million per season on a five-year deal. I think if they can find a way to pony up $4 million per year for Michael Bunting, I think they will find a way to keep him. But if they're pretty steadfast on maybe three to three and a half per year, I think Bunting's going to say, listen, I appreciate the opportunity to play here in Toronto and everything else, but you know, the money at some point becomes a factor. And maybe he maybe he doesn't go for that $5 million that's out there on the market. But I think he will want a better situation for that $4 million per year and a little bit of security in a five-year deal. And maybe Toronto is willing to go, say, a seven- or eight-year deal at $3.5 million per year. You know, maybe they end up finding a, a happy medium where he still gets that, that closer to $20 million dollars in a contract over a longer period of time, but again, less money per year. And that's something that maybe Michael Bunting's willing to put up with in order to prioritize that stability of knowing that's, that money's going to still come just over a longer period of time, and he gets to play in Toronto, right? So let me know what you guys think down below. Would you like to see them sign Michael Bunting to a max-out contract? Would you like to see a happier a happy medium contract here where it's a five-year deal that puts him to maybe 33 34 where maybe he could cash in one more one or two-year deal at the end of his contract let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next time